Hello and welcome to the show. Today we're joined by Lou Collins, who's going to show us a really cute gift box idea using the XCut Express and the Paper Mania capsule collection in Parisian blue. Hi Lou, welcome along. Hi Katie. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. What have we got today? We've got a little gift box. Lovely. And we've made it so the lid lifts off like so and you can see inside to another layer Beautiful. but you can't actually see what the gift is That's inside. very clever. So we'll Love it. It's a little, little pentagon, isn't it? Yes. Brilliant. Fantastic. Right, so how do we get started? So I've put, made some templates for us to use and I've printed these up onto A4 paper. Lovely. A good idea is to print these onto cardstock or cut them around. Okay, that's that fantastic. Reuse. So what I've done is I've taken my first two templates of the base and the outer side. So I've drawn around the base in pencil. Okay. But with the outer side, instead of cutting out five of these separately, what I've done is folded the edge up as I've drawn around them. Oh, and I've see. added them. This this just means you've got a lot less joins. And on the last one, I've drawn around it with the tab as well. I see, okay. And here I've what I've done is I've started die cutting for us. Oh, some holes in them. Now it might look a bit strange because they're not central. That's because our lid is going to come part way down. Oh, that makes sense. And yeah. So the lid covers up sort of the top half of these so sections. It, so it will be, it'll look central in the bit you've got left. Yes, so yeah. that'll be. So I've used these X-cut dies. Lots of buttons in there. They're brilliant, aren't they? I've started using this one. It looks like a button, but obviously you're only going to get the outside shape. So it's a scallop it's circle. A scallop. That's good. And I've yeah. got this set on around about four, four and a half for this die with this paper. Lovely. And that's the beauty of the Express, of course, is that it has a, um, the adjustable roller. So depending on your individual Perfect. machine and yeah. the die and the paper you're using and whether your plates have maybe been around a little bit longer, um, it will be really fine-tuned to your individual circumstances. Exactly. So there's our fifth one cut out. Lovely. So we'll just pop this to the side. There we go. So now we're going to score the lines we've drawn on here with using our template. Lovely. So I've scored along all these tabs. I'm just going to fold these in. Fantastic. And to fix it to our base. Now I'm putting the base blue side down so when you lift it, it up looks you nice can see. From there. Yeah. Now I've got my hot glue gun on so I'm just going to do one at a time. Now this hot glue gun's brilliant. It leaves such a fine line of glue can be really precise. So you don't get any bits oozing out, do no. you? It's really good. Once you've got one stuck on, you can go along and do the others. Right, so we'll just stick the last tab down to hold it all together. Beautiful. Take the glue off my fingers. Mm -hmm. I love those stringy bits <laughs> you get. Fantastic. So we'll squeeze them edges pinch. again, make that sure they're all folded well. So what I've done on this sheet, like you say, so we coordinate, I've used the same sheet, paler colour. Lovely. I've got my lid and I've got my inner side. Again, I've done them all in one line. And we're just going to cut that out. That's so much easier having a little template than having a strip and trying to divide it into five, isn't it, as a, well? A lot, lot easier. No maths. <laughs> we don't have to be doing maths to a craft, do we? No. So again, we'll just score these lines. Now with this one, I'm gluing it together first. Okay. Just because once it's inside the box, it's very hard I see. to glue together. Fold your tabs down. Steady if you can. Drop it into the box and push those tabs down. Ah, oh, that's great. There we go. Because it's set back, you sort of get that little bit of dimension, yeah, don't you? Yeah, you get a, a little bit of a shadow there. Beautiful. Very okay. posh. So now the lid. You see, we drew the lid out mm -hmm. on the pale coloured paper and I've cut one out ready here. Very nice. So we're going to do the same again, score along those lines that I've got there. It looks a bit like um, a windmill. Yeah it does. Like this. It really does. <laughs> Great. And I've also got small folds. These are the bits that are going to stick each side oh, to I each see. other. So we'll fold along all those scored lines. Now this edge do not worry about it looking perfect because we're going to be covering it up with some really pretty Lovely. ribbon. 
beautiful. Now I've used this beautiful pleated fabric oh, trim. These are great. I love these. So if you measure around your box how much you're going to need first, plus a little bit, because we always would rather cut too much than not enough. Yeah. So I'm going to cut it about there. And you'll notice that I haven't actually used trim that's quite this wide. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll cut it down just yeah. above the stitching. You do not want to cut into the stitching though. No, otherwise it'll all unpleat, yeah. won't it? So we'll just make, it. make sure we're leaving a few millimetres above the stitching there. There we go. I'm being really careful not to cut into that stitching. There we go. Right, so we're going to start with the hot glue gun again. Do one side at a time. If you do too much, you could end up with your glue drying before yeah. you get to stick it down because you do need to make sure this is all lined up at the top. Oh, that's great already. And there we go. Nice. And I'm just going to overlap. I'm not going to cut that off exactly. I'm going to overlap it, overlap it by about one pleat there. Mm -hmm. Glue that down just to cover any joins. Very nice. There yeah, we go. Seamless, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. So that's what we have so far. So the, Brilliant. can you see these frays? We were talking before about the fr um, this does fray quite yeah. a lot. I absolutely love the look, but if you've got a piece like this that you you don't want quite, there, quite a stringy bit. If you trim them off and brush them with a bit of Anita's tacky glue, yeah, that will seal them in. That's good. So I've just popped a little button from the same that's collection good. into each hole. I like you put the glue on the project rather than on the button. Yeah, because that's exactly where I need yourself, it. You as well. If I put it on the button and then drop the button, yeah, could go there's always the risk that. Right, so you do do that all the way around the edge, and then you can decorate the top Fantastic. as I have here. I've used these rosettes. Um, you can get fab, ribbons in the collection. There's some ribbon bows. These would go perfectly as well. And they're a lovely big size, aren't they? they they're, are they're bigger than the previous capsule collection ones. I really like those. They're lovely. So. So there we go, that's how you make a basic box. Brilliant. If you've been crafting, we'd love to see what you've been up to, particularly if it's maybe a, a gift idea, maybe a gift box or an actual present you might give to somebody. Um, if, you'd like, if you have been crafting, drop us an email to tv at docrafts.com. Um, we'd love to have a look and we could always feature one of your projects on an upcoming episode of Do Crafts TV. Until next time, happy crafting.